Welcome back to the Architects Anonymous. I'm Faith No45 of Clan Honora, and this is the second of our more personalised dojo tours. I've been joined by a few members of my alliance as we tour the Xbox Clan World Over Heaven. They are not a member of our decorating alliance, and for the Autumn 2023 Dojo Contest, they won silver in the Shadow category. This is their first time ever on the Xbox Star Chart, and the Clan had a lot to show off. We had so much fun visiting their dojo, and as ever, if you want to join our alliance, please contact me on Discord or on Xbox. We'll be back for more dojo tours soon, and until then, I hope you enjoy this in-depth tour of World Over Heaven. Hi there, welcome back to Vagtex Among Us. I'm Faithman45 of Clan Onora, and we're going to be doing a personalised dojo tour of World Over Heaven, and I'm joined by two people in my alliance, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Hallo, ich bin Matt Divos, der Dekorateur von Phoenix Attribution. Ich war der All-Star-Sieger in Frühling 2023. Exactly what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. And Metal. <laughs> oh, hello, uh, I'm Paul Metal uh, G X um, of Kleine Nora. Yeah, he's, he's my lieutenant. He's basically, he's the guy that does what I say. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I will, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's go in there. We're going to do every room in here, so we're just going to go down the whole teleporter. Um, World Over Heaven are a shadow clan uh, that won the silver award on the Autumn 2023 contest. And they have a lot of cool, interesting gaming builds. So yeah, let's head on in. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, let us all know if, if you get in there. I'm in. Yeah, Matt, are you in? Yeah, I see you on the stream, yeah. Yeah, man. Ooh. Cool. Yep, so, um, yeah, this is the spawn room. Um, it's got a little tree, and it's got some organ-style uh, pieces where they've got some of the like trading tub uh, hubs and terminals and stuff, yeah. Um, so yeah, Com I'll be honest. Compared to the rest of the dojo, this is actually quite an underwhelming room. <laughs> um, I, mean, I do like the tree in the middle. Uh, yeah. Can, I can, can I give them credits. I, I can give them credits for for the stairs because they're singularly yep. um, hand uh, placed and turned by hand. So, um, yeah, really good job. Uh, I just got one word. Gold! Gold everywhere. <laughs> yes. The, the completely original Lorican theme is something that uh, many dojos do have. So yeah, um, mm. it's nice to see Yes, I do like these, uh, the floors down here, but uh, yeah. Um, no, I like the tree. Oh. It's made out of like two decorations. Yeah. Don't, don't go in the tenor lab. It's not finished. <laughs> not finished. Well, when people tell me not to go into something, I just want to see. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not finished. It's about right. <laughs> it's, on, it's on theme with the rest <laughs> of the, the lab, so yeah. But right, let's find their teleporter and uh, mm. start to and go to their first room. We're just going to do it alphabetical, so um, if there's something the of worth in the room, um, we'll see. But yeah, all right, we'll, do, we'll see if there's anything in their Coover trade room, which doesn't look like there is, so we'll just skip down to the next room. Uh, on our Dojo Tours, also, we don't also really... Not finished. Yeah, also not finished, but I mean, we're not going to go into work in progress building, you know. Uh, I, her, I her, think her it's on purpose. Comment. I think the, the <coughs> yellow is on purpose. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Oh, no, I, I just turned around. No, it's not. Uh, yep. I, re, uh, uh, yeah. I take that back. I recant my statement. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Um, let's go down to free event quarters. Yes. Oh, text oh, in the dojo. My, yeah. my favorite. <laughs> Look at all the cubes. Yeah. I mean, they're having lunch in here. I mean, that is. That's like a hundred thousand <laughs> Zaraman standing. <laughs> that's a crazy amount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like, I don't really have too much to really say about. Um, rooms like this because there's not really a focal point and the whole purpose of them is just to uh, like share information about the clan so yeah I mean if I can I find anything in the, that I quite like, in the yeah. center is neat 
Oh, it can't have yeah, it's first spawn like, oh, yeah. yeah, I just noticed that. They did have like a little game over here as well, like they have like a little basketball style game over here. And then on the left they have like, I don't know if Plinko is the name of the game in a different language, but um, it's like the little coin machine one where it like the coin lands in a particular slot. Put the coin down slot, the, on yeah. the top and try to get it yeah. into a slot. Yes. That's cool. And then you've got a little uh, floof grab machine over here. Uh, you know, Matt, Matt Davis, his favorite thing of the world is seeing floofs in the dojo. So, I mean, uh, hey, I, I got yeah. a claw machine in my nightclub. Um, and there are yeah. floofs inside that as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm guilty of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then just uh, yeah, all of the little text tributes and stuff, yes. Yeah, no, that's quite cool. Is there anything on the other yeah. side of no? Yeah. I mean, extra point for creativity. <laughs> Cafeteria? I just, I just wish the room was completely masked. Oh, I like the dishwasher. That's dope. Do the dishwasher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I know. Uh, it's okay. I mean, uh, oh, I see at the top. It's a bit too tall. Um, it's a uh, <laughs> need a giant to reach in there. Yeah, my Tenno looks like he's a kid looking over a counter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th I, th yeah. I think metal is big enough. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I, I can finally do the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> pay your bill, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta pay my rent with chores. Mel, you give me the vibes that you eat off paper plates. Let's not lie. <laughs> no. <I don't. laughs> oh, right. Okay. So, um, I think we start now on uh, the other stuff. This room that we featured. <laughs> In the last one, uh, Mad, <laughs> I, Mad gave me a good laugh when I said, "Oh, we're going to a JoJo reference," and he didn't realize that was the name of a room. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's go there. Yeah, uh, please, world of heaven, ch ch change the, the room name. <laughs> <It's super confusing. laughs> yeah. Did he get really good. Oh, oh, was last time. Oh, yeah. nani. <laughs> really good, really good job, really good job. Yeah, I like this yeah. uh, picture a lot. I don't, I don't know the reference. I haven't watched JoJo the Bizarre Adventure yet. Uh, it's of all, all um, you're the biggest anime head I know, and you have not watched JoJo. And uh... it's <laughs> oh, man, it's, the first it, season's kind of hard to get into. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The first season is definitely kind of hard to get into. I agree on that. Yeah. But I, I, Bridget tells me after afterwards it's fine, so it's fine. Just gotta sit down and watch it. Yeah. How many seasons does it have? Is it a crazy long one? Um, it's not like it's, it's not One Piece. Four, no. Yeah. no, four point five. No, no, it's not one. <laughs> four point five. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love the um, you know, uh, the attempt at mural style arts in the dojo at the moment. Um, like with these like. 2D objects on a 2D board to kind of like get across a build. I on my mentor I said it looked like um, uh, Rio. The, is it Rio? The guy on the right. I think he looks a little bit like Albrecht and Trotty with the uh, with the pieces they've used with the overcoat. Yeah, he does. But... It's Jota <laughs> yeah. Kujo on the right and on the left side it's Dio. Oh, left is Dio. Yeah. Wait, no. What on the right is it Dio? Sorry. Yeah. No, 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 on the right is Jota Rukucho, the protagonist of, um, of the show in oh, season okay. three. As you can see, I don't get the, the Jojo reference. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea it's what's going fine. on. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah. Um, are those like action marks above them? Are they like just noise bubbles or something? Or is it like just running I think it's referring the to the Hora, 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 Hora. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. You know that meme? Yeah, I've seen the meme before, yeah. I've Hold seen on, the meme. On, on, on. <laughs> yeah. No, I really like it, yeah. I mean I more 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 two D up, please. More two D up. Right, um we're going to Arachne next, so uh, can, can, mm -hmm. we please, can we please uh, uh uh mention that this was done in a dueling room and this is a very small oh, use yes. for a yes. dueling room. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, I'll, I'll briefly go back. Yeah, this is a very it's a jewel room, illustrating a jewel. I love it. And, you know, to get a good dueling room is really difficult because most people just make them obstacle courses to fight around. So to have art in there is pretty good. Alright, we've moved on to Arachne. Gigantic so, yeah. spider in the middle of the room, by the way. Looks yes. Looks like it has two turrets on its head. 
and there's looking at it from the yes. spawn room. <laughs> oh, you've used the orb as the as the back end of it as well. Yeah, some dragon head. Yeah, it's a nice little spider. Yeah, I just think they they could have blended it a bit better with all the pieces because uh, you know it's a bit jarring having lights on the spider. Um, the face is, uh, there's more to be desired for the face. Um, I can tell this is one of the early things that they built in the rest of their dojo, um, which will get a lot better. Uh, but yeah, I, I just think the face, like, I like the shape of the spider. I just think the face just needs some touch-up work. And, uh, it'll be better. Yes. But no, room masks. Check. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Check out the, uh, side rooms. Also. Oh, what, the, uh... <laughs> Scalibur Prime in y'all. Oh, well, we'll get to that one later, yeah. Um, they will have... Oh, one one, oh one, okay, there's, there's a teleporter in here, I'm sorry. Yeah, Hi, man. Let's run in here and before we get in the chance to walk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, I like that. <coughs> yep. I mean, the, the scale of the, of, of the spider in this room is, is good. Yep. I just, just wish there was more detail on it. It's, it's, it's a fairly simple sculpture, but again, it might be one of the first works, so it's excused. Um, every yeah. decorator started somewhere. I mean, my first spider had like 10 pieces used. <laughs> Eight legs, one one little body, and then one bigger back body. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, think I stood in I, my clan, yeah. But, but, but you, you, you can take this uh, spider, for example, to uh, what's wrong with, with the... Um, early sculpture attempts because they look for um, items that look like a finished part of your um, of your sculpture like they, they deliberately look for parts that look like a leg this looks like fangs yeah. or this could be the, the bottom stuff like that yeah like bul bulbousy and objects for the, like the back end of it as well like the big um, like weebly bit of the back but yeah I mean I mean, I was guilty of doing that as well, so I understand the urge to do so um, as well, yeah. I mean, the mask... Yeah, the, the, trick, the trick behind uh, great sculptures, uh, or how these crazy Chinese people do, do them <laughs> and blow everyone away, is like they, they, they do inch by inch with, uh, uh, with a single item. Yeah, I mean, even I some this... art... Oh, yeah, go on, Mel. Sorry, I will say that this room kind of reminds me of the... Um... Oh, I don't remember the name of it, but the insect spider boss from uh, Anthem. The people the room, would get, not the, people not would the get that reference if they played Anthem. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never played Iron Man Simulator before, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. But yeah, no, um, said, uh, there are better decorations to make for spiders out of. Like, some of the infested pieces would have been better placed, like the creature claws and the husks, uh, the feeder husks are pretty good as well. Um, yeah, easily could be replicated. But right, let's move on to the next room. We have a their ascension hall. I don't know if this is uh, their, um... Oh no, it's not, it's not. Oh, it's just an ascension hall, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I quite like the use of the eye here. Um, they've actually done something quite clever here, where they tried to create a like a moving eye uh, effect uh, with eyelashes mm. and a little Namurai sculpted like a nice shape. Um, I can appreciate that in the doorway. Bit. Yeah, but please yeah. double down on the concept and don't just leave them hanging here. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Big, big time. I mean, you can also, like, mask that around with another white object as well, if you want, like, a white iris. Like, the white wool would have been quite good to use here, just to have, like, the, the thing, and then, um, yeah. There's always something more you yeah. can do or something, but, yeah, but, I mean. Um, either make one of these eyes in, like, super large, or make, like, a bunch of them in this room, and, um... Yeah. <clears throat> but I think the issue it. of this room in particular is just... It's, it's an awful shape. Like, it's hard to build something. The pillars are in the way. It's an awful yeah. shape, and you don't have enough capacity. I get it. And the lighting um, of this room is horrendous as well, because it, all tenor rooms yeah. suffer from the horrendous lighting, yeah. Everything I see is a different light shade when I'm so, near it. Yeah. yeah, but again, like, don't use this room, and then... Um, Problem solved, this, right? <laughs> I mean, make the same build, 
in a uh, in a proper room like the starlight market and double down on the concept because i really like the eye it's just yeah. it's just yeah the, the thing it's the issue with this room is it's just floating in mid-air and has no purpose here yep <clears throat> i mean i'm a big fan of putting the ascension hall in a reactor um because it's you know it's right, right size you can just get something quite small to go in there but anyway all right, as I said, it's a tidy little room. I can see what we're going for. But all right, let's go to Autumn Grove. The next one on their list. Again, I think this might be something very early on. It's just a little garden room. Yeah. yeah. The thing I, I don't understand about these garden rooms, or, I mean, people, yeah, early dojos tend to build them. Um, it's because they're interesting, because they actually have texture to them and water and... You know, especially when you're younger, you don't know what you're using in the dojo yet and what you can use. And the gardens don't complement any of the existing decorations. They just don't. <laughs> you don't have anything to complement the existing garden and make it better. Like, yeah, we don't have water, uh, um, we don't have flying stuff. Yeah, and they're terribly small for capacity, considering their size as well. Yeah, 600 is nothing to do with something. Yeah, I mean, the size doesn't fit as well, and you have this sort of horrendous lighting, especially on the ceiling. Um, yeah. But when you decide to build a garden room, why do you do a garden? Well, that's that's the thing I don't understand. It's like it's too literal. <laughs> and they have two yep. teleporters in here, by the way. Two. <laughs> What's the second one? Oh, it's energy chambers. It leads out to the hallway out here. Yeah. Um, so I just looked in here. So the energy chamber just basically uh, <laughs> is a very roughly okay. uh, placed um, hallway to go to their four reactors down here. Yeah. Yeah. Cor corridors. The just. I mean, if they ever added the ability to replace corridors or your dojo like rooms, like corridors would would have no no reason mm -hmm. to exist. Yep. But yeah. Yeah, but again, like um, placing a garden just to make it more garden. I don't know. It's 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 wasted resources and a waste of space, a waste of uh, room capacity. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Evoke decorates a lot in gardens, and they do quite some some interesting stuff in there. So, um, utilize the shape. Maybe, I mean, I, like Dojo Prime's use. Room? Yeah, I mean, Dojo Prime's isolated a garden just for its water to build a bathhouse as well. So, I mean. With these rooms, it's more how you could isolate the individual assets to get what you want from the room, as opposed to needing the room to be a garden. Because, again here, there's none of these floor tiles, any of the flooring that kind of matches, uh, but you can build upon to make something interesting. And again, the lighting in this room is horrendous when you're building as well, yeah. <laughs> there's two trees there that are just totally different colours, but they're pretty much the same thing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Since I don't know anything about decorating, um... Yes. Can you, would it look good if you put any of the Devere plants and stuff in one of these rooms? I oh god, the Devere plants like are amazing, but, but the problem though is that you need to color match it. Like, in this with red, there's not many really red decorations, they're all greenish mm -hmm. colored um, decorations. So, with the Devere stuff, there's just green ferns, green plants, and then the bushes and the flowers, uh, sorry, like the Devere flowers are like white in these rooms, so you need that to complement with a more, with a build but right let's move on and to again, the next one don't, don't don't make a room don't make a garden just more garden yeah doubling down on uh, it the next let's one, just see Baldur's, Baldur's Gate, Gate. Yes. that one is great oh this is cool as fuck so I haven't played I'm Baldur's surprised. Gate so I've, I, I've, I haven't but I've seen a lot of the videos and stuff on um, I am surprised this is really cool can I, can I jump over to it uh, I'm I'm going to jump off so I can get a better look at it. Oh, you can jump to it. You can you can jump to it. Mm. Wow, well, I'm going down cool. to the, I'm going down to the preview function. Yep. Wow, this is cool. Oh wow. Um, I'm go, I'm impressed. Inside. Wow, this is great. They're learning. <laughs> They're getting better. <laughs> so, do you know what this is? mad from Baldur's Gate or no it's what uh, as I haven't played it 
Uh, but you can go inside the mine, of it. The mine flare ship. Um, oh wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if you saw the Boulder Gate trailer, but uh, apparently this ship can jump through dimensions and stuff, and uh, that's what it was doing. Isn't Boulder's Gate a D and D game? Why is it? Why is it got yes, a spaceship? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's it not goes a spaceship. Two dimension, it's, it's, uh... not, not the universe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but does it fly? And is it in space? Yeah, it flies. It's not space. It's just like in the atmosphere, like a plane. But then it can, oh, like, uh, dimension skip or something. I don't know what they call it, but uh, it's cool. Again, it's... gotta say, this you is can, really you can get cool, on the inside of it, but now this I know is how, how to really get really cool. Yep. It's, I like the scale of it, it's impressive, yeah. Yep, I really do. Yeah, I love the back end of it, and you can actually go into it as well. They're clearly going to be building stuff inside of it as well. Um, there's little caverns and chambers in here. There's even one downstairs. There's one upstairs. So they're actually going out of their way to do um, the thing. They're actually building um, on the base layer. Um, they've got little uh, custom uh, pods that are pretty cool. Like uh, I don't know if you can get in there on the on the decorator mode. But yeah, they've actually got little custom pods down here. Like little lifeboats or like... I don't really know what I'd call them. Like... Um, why, don't, why can't I think like, of anything right now? <laughs> they're like... Uh, I wouldn't say cryopods, but uh, they did show them in the trailers and stuff. Um, yeah. They just hold people. Yeah, storage pods or something, yeah. Like mm -hmm. cryopods and they've got like the fluid around that makes them very alien and stuff, yeah. Oh, that's a great use of the... of what I call the dragon's head to create that little shape there, yeah. The spinal bone. Yeah, that's good. Oh, this is going to be dope, yeah. It's going to yeah, be crazy. I can't wait to see this finish. This is yep. really cool. I mean, they've still mm -hmm. got um, 654 capacity, so they're going to, like, tank out this room, definitely, yeah. <clears throat> Shape's great. I like the, honestly, the, the more I see these ossified pieces, the ossified sentient pieces are great, yeah. And uh, they've actually used a, a good combination of the sentient pieces to, like, add ribs and spines down everything as well. Which I quite like. Yeah. Yeah, they are good. They are good. Very impressed with this. Very impressed with this, yeah. Yep. Scale great. Looks great. I, I might need to look it up just to kind of like see what reference point I have to work with, but yeah. Right, let me find my way back over to where the teleporter is and we can, uh... Oh, uh, just fast travel. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, where did you fast travel? Was it? Uh, to the tunnel lab and then... Oh, tunnel lab and then we go over here. Yep, cool. Thank you. Faith's a noob, you know. <laughs> you have to remind him. Alright, so the next one we have on the list is a Bizarre Work in Progress. I wonder if it has anything to do with uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. No, no not, yeah. not that. Mm, no. I can't tell. Nope. It might be very early work in progress, so who knows. Let's have a little look. Is this just a very cave? Uh, it's oh, the cove. Come. It's a bit of a cove, yeah. Come downstairs, they got workstations and stuff down here. Mm -hmm. how, how do we get from Baldur's Gate ship being super impressive to this? Well, it's work it's... in progress. We don't, I don't really know what yeah. it is. <clears throat> they, have, they have a lot of cap left in this room. I mean, I don't really want to judge it till it's done. Um, but I don't know how many decorators they have, to be fair. So I have a feeling that they have a couple decorators in this clan um, that might have different projects. I mean, most clans might have a couple decorators. Uh, I mean, I, mean, I have <laughs> I have two, but it, like it's more like one featuring Bobe telling me how not to do heads badly. <laughs> yeah, mocking my scopes. For you. Yeah, build it. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 the, la the last that he helped me with, he just told me what was wrong with it, and I fixed it all on myself. I'm a big boy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So that's um, one sculpture out of... Uh... All of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's go down. We have Bronze Palace Throne. Yeah, this is the alien uh, build. Oh, Prometheus. Yeah, why is it not called Prometheus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, because there's a second teleporter yeah. in this room. Ah, right, okay, yep. Yeah, let me, uh, let me heat off. Oh, wow, uh, this is cool. I love the pots and pans being almost like a stack of dead bodies, like, from a distance, yeah. Oh, where's that? 
Uh, just uh, on the bottom of this room. I don't really uh, know where it is. Oh, yeah. I see where you are. Yeah, because in um, the is it wasn't it Covenant, not Prometheus, when um, David uh, releases the spore onto the planet, and the engineers like running away. Because I think the pots and pans have been used to basically simulate the black mass dead bodies on the floor when um, oh, no, the crew no, no, no. of the um, Covenant arrive. Right. The ship had a bunch of black contain, like cylindrical containers in it, that had all the black shit in it. Um, I want to say that's what they're imitating, but. Don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've watched it's that still cool. like a dozen times. Yeah, cool. I, I, I have a feeling that the um, that it's there to replicate the the dead bodies from the perspective. Honestly, if you go back and watch it, the the black mass that's on the floor in the film is basically um the dead body, like the rem remnants of the dead bodies, where the biofluid basically corrupts um all of the yeah. engineer people on the floor and then just turns them into like ash pretty much so i think it's meant to be dead bodies because i think they're all leaving that main center of, like their main hall and then uh david's like screw you and just release it releases it on them yeah the actual ship by the way i'm in the free mode bit the actual ship is brilliant yeah like the fact they've used like ten thousand filigree is, is unreal yeah it's great i really i really like this build yeah, and it's actually an, a literal <laughs> use of a biofluid. That's that's decent. Yeah, it's very very good. Yeah, I'll leave this here for a second for people to see it. And it's it's majesty. Yeah, it's just too much gold. That's the only yeah. only thing I don't like. It's, it's, it's the overuse of organ items. I think the Oricon items give it that rib texture because I think there's not really a, something they could have used to replicate the, the texture of the Prometheus ship. <clears throat> yeah, I differently. When I, when I see I don't have the right items to do uh, X thing, I just don't do it. And they say, uh, I don't care if it's the shape and I'm using it. Like my controller cut out. <laughs> but I'm back. Good. Yes, very good. Um, I'm going to take a little look at the train to see if I like the train. I haven't actually probably given that a look yet. Chugga chugga. I like the carriage to it. The carriage is a lot better than the than the head of the train. But I don't know how accurate that is to the film. But because uh, I can't remember there being a train that goes through the the courtyard of it. But. Yeah, I quite like the the, I the can't anti call it either. Yeah. And this is a custom work they've done to like further. I mean, the room's still like you know work in progress, so um, they've got a lot of unfinished pieces in there. So hopefully, uh, it's good. But the main the main focus of the room is is still impressive, like from the perspective as well. I mean, I mean, I'm just looking at these like ridges. They're all placed manually again as well, all free handed as well. This would have this would have taken a lot out of a decorator to do. <laughs> yeah, no, very good. I'm so impressed by this build. I mean, it's just. I just th think I just think a different polychrome would have uh, would have helped this build a lot. Yeah. Yeah, blend in the items a bit better. Yeah. Uh, especially since like with the aesthetics of um, HR Giga, uh, he 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 works with almost one tone of color yep. the entire time right it's just uh, different stages of uh, yeah, darker and lighter um, black colors most of the time yep grays blacks it's like he picks like a color theme it's but they're all the same colors pretty much yeah and they all have to be complementary to each other in the same palette yeah it's black and grays or it's uh, blues and dark blues or whatever yeah mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Alright, right, let's move to on to the next one, yeah. Let's go. So, the next one is... We are at... Catwalk. Catwalk. The name of the room is something casino. Darby's Casino, yes. So, uh, again, this is this must have been one of their earlier rooms, because uh, whenever I see this Tenno Hall, um, I think, ah, oh, they probably placed this 
very, very early on in their journey as being a decorator. Let's have a little look at their things. We've got a roulette table. I mean, this the you can tell this is on the ceiling are nice. Oh, yeah. But I can't oh. say anything great about the rest of the build because, I mean, yeah. It I is what it is, right? I can tell how everything was freehanded without grid snap in this room, by the way. Yep. Everything is off. Yeah. <laughs> the the yep. thing the thing is just if, how many times have you seen this room in dojos? Like every uh, every decorator who started yeah. did this. Yep. I mean my first uh major room was in this room mm. and it's trash. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I would yeah. have been guilty of that too if I didn't start an Arbiters. Yeah. I can totally understand why uh, they they've done it this way. Uh, it's very basic. I mean, the drum set, yeah. the drum set uh, on top here is uh, is is cool, it's neat, but um, it's nothing that that will blow you away. Today's the day I learned that there was um, side lights on the drum sets that you could play. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just ask me? Well, normally you're not big on using free cap um, decorations, so that's probably why you haven't. I haven't seen many. I, I've seen the the front bits used with the like little like target scope parts. I've seen them used on items before. Yeah, but no. But sometimes it's just things you notice when they darken the room down and stuff. Yeah, looks pretty good. <laughs> anyway, next time. Uh, next time. Next time, just uh, divers, show me lights. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Here, lights. <laughs> All right, let's let's move on uh, to Chamber of Secrets. So I kind of think um, so. Bobe isn't here for this tour, but I think he would appreciate this because I think this is a Harry Potter reference, and he's be been building a lot this of. This um, is this is the uh, second Harry Potter movie. Yes. Yep. He actually shared me the, uh, the I think he shared us both the reference images of this. It's actually really close to what the mm. the film is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's it, it's just the sewers I'm missing completely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very good, yeah. He's at a sewers. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a nice little snake as well, yeah. You can tell they're picking up the pace of their builds and stuff, yeah. Um I would love if word over heaven if you watch this tour, I would love you to number your teleporters. Just because I would love to see your progress as a dojo, because some of the rooms I'm going in, I can tell that they're earlier builds. And then some of the newer stuff, I'm like, yeah, they're picking up their pace on building. And, and commonly, what it makes it easier to navigate your teleporters by numbering them, uh, like like Davos does here. And Nora does it totally different, but um, I now number it in a different way. Um, so at least it's numbered to so I can see my progress based on the builds I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so I just would love to see them numbered, personally. Uh, just to see where you started and where you end up. Um, really, it's just nice to keep track, Just yeah. never go down the spectrum road and you're good. Yeah, with barcodes is pretty much, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stuff, yeah. I oh, just it's like... it's pretty simple. It's, yeah. uh, it's 3007F Z22... Well, it's floors. So, so, it's, 11. so it's like 1F <laughs> floor ZX2Y and then the build name. As, and then, like, because half the time I don't uh, even know what the builds are, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> where am I? <laughs> yeah. Um, I really like the uh, the head on the back as well with like the um the I think that's the, the best effect, part yeah. in this room. Yeah, big time, yeah. They've made a concerted effort and they've made it and they've actually made it three D as well. Like I really like the nose. The nose is great, yeah. Um and what have they used to make make it? Oh they've Lua used shards. um it's Lua shards, but they've also used the for the cheekbones, they've used the fl the um, the disc shaped rocks, I can't remember what the slabs, that's what they're called, yeah. To like create the texture. Because from far away, mm -hmm. it, g it gives it a texture because they're quite compact in. I quite like that, yeah. No, I really like this room, yeah. Um, it's very lore yeah, accurate, uh, yeah. Yeah, World Over Heaven, yeah. we still have 600 capacity left in this room. Finish. Yeah. Finish the mask at the sewers, yes. Um, yeah, no, I really like this room. Bobay was actually quite jealous when he saw this room because he wanted to build this room and then he saw it and was like, ah, shucks. <laughs> But right, uh, let's go uh, to the Garby's the Casino we've we've been to. That room had two teleporters yeah, in. Stairs. Yep, so Dio stairs for work in progress. Oh, I'm assuming this is um another JoJo reference in here. Again, yes, we'll, we'll just look at the base. Dio. Oh, Dio. <laughs> Dio, Dio. 
Yeah. This, I after, think this, uh, is, uh, this is from the uh, this is from the second season. <coughs> is yeah, he the a mortal yeah. vampire? Is, no, is... it's 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 not. It, yeah, yeah, he's the yeah. immortal vampire. It's not. It's not from from the second season. It's either the first or the third. No, it must be the first. I don't remember. Well, you've never watched it, so. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, so I watched too parts of the first here. season. Yeah. I like Fern, by the way, the feet are great, by the way. Can I just say, I really love the feet and the, and the shape. I know, I obviously, there's still a lot of work to be done, but I, I quite like the shape of what they're going. It, to get the items this small on a tribute of this size is, is impressive, so yeah. yeah. The layers mm. are just too, too, um, too close to get a little bit, and yeah. oh, I just see... Hold on, did they grid snap the tributes or did, didn't they? No, they haven't, because I can tell that there's breaks in them on this side. If you look on the left-hand side of my stream, you can see where there's, like, a jaggedness, where there's one layer behind another where it shouldn't be. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's caused by the item. Hold on, let me, Maybe. Let me have a look-see in decorating mode. Maybe. Um, hit to World Over Heaven. Uh, if you do Tributar Art, it's so much easier when you grid snap your Tributars. Yep. Hold on, let's, let's see, let's see if they jump. Oh yeah, they jump a lot. Yep, I told immediately, yeah. You can tell, also if you look at the back, um, there's a mess in here. So, um, I, whatever, even if you're watching, a really good video to watch is Dizzy 12's Tributor Tutorials. There's one he does of a uh, simple, like, sunset style, like, neo-scientific, uh, like, two grid by two grid tributor that's quite easy to follow but if you want to learn how to do bigger tributor he does a really good guide on his Carl build where he shows you building all the different layers and how to snap them together so on here um i can see all the tributar have been almost laid in in like blocks and grids and stuff like that and it looks very messy i have no idea what the hell's going on here um so basically I, yeah. I, I do think they didn't Hold on, did they or did didn't that's, they? That's probably why the Is it single bit use there. Omega? Because I, I don't think you need that many tributes to create the screen. Mm, yeah, it's all single use by the looks of it, yeah, which is probably why the, there are breaks um in it, you yeah. Can, you can paste in Omega four times in one tributar. Yep. Save yourself the capacity and time. Yep. And, uh, and also, it doesn't look like they're scaled correctly either. Um, so I think they haven't added the full scale. So if you're building tribute like this, you can just mask around yeah, what stuff you scale. don't use. So always do max yeah. scale because, you know, like, if you're going to rip apart your dojo's frame rate, you might as well fully scale your items and get the most out of it. And you could probably build a bigger version of this as well. Tribute is a tough skill to learn. Um, but definitely watch Dizzy's... Uh, tutorials on um <clears throat> on youtube I'll, I'll give a shout out to dizzy there yeah um very good he actually yeah. taught me how to do it and every time i see someone trying to learn tribute to art that's my go-to videos to show people because if i can learn yeah, the tutorial that way, is really good can agree the yeah tutorial is really good so yeah perfect but no right let's not linger too much but hopefully that feedback helps with this build again if you watch this so yeah right let's move on to the next one so we're uh, at next one's gonna be dead, dead space. space oh yeah i know this room i know this room yes, yes. Oh, look yes. Look yep we're all gonna turn into zombies that kill everyone <laughs> well it's not zombies in the dead space it's necromorphs yeah well, necrom well, whatever. yes whatever zombies yeah. <laughs> space zombies, yeah. The, um, worse, worse zombies. <laughs> I don't honestly like. I remember when my. Uh, you don't want I remember when I played the, the second universe. game, and it's when the first baby one runs at you, and you're like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> yeah, it is actually like it's both hilarious and scary at the same time because it's just like you just don't expect it. Because <laughs> they were like, the "Yeah, we're gonna get on the walls too." Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're the unitologist um, symbols. Yeah, they're the, they're the evil Scientologist-based faction, pretty much, um, <laughs> in the game and stuff. Yeah, so basically, in the game, the red markers, and I, I like the ability to provide the polychrome, the red marker, is because there are two types of markers in Dead Space. You've got the black markers, which are the original markers that control the Brethren Moon, and then you've then got the red markers, which were reverse-engineered by humanity, 
um, by unitologists and they both pretty much do the same thing but the black markers are just more powerful and create more pure forms and stuff um, so yeah but I really like the shape of it, it like the fact that I could immediately tell what this was is a, is a great job yeah um, god I love dead space yep <laughs> yep yeah, that's cool as fuck. Yeah. <clears throat> just, just wish they actually had followed through with some of the potential and actually finished the third game um, as opposed to them botching it and then, you know, them, them cancelling the series until they... I mean, hopefully the remastered games are great. I really enjoyed the new, the new uh, um, remake of it, yeah. That was a great... That's such a good experience. So, yeah, I fully appreciate the gaming builds as well, yeah. And again, everything's oh, that's placed cool. in here, yeah. They got something up here that's making this rock right here um, rotate. Oh, that's just or one float. of the um, that's just one of the uh, rock decorations in the Tenno, but it spins as well. Yeah, mm. um, yeah, that's but, cool. Yeah, they could have marked it. It's just a tad, but I want to criticize this build. I like it. Yes, runes, mad. Yes, Davos loves runes. <laughs> mm, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, this is a capacity issue. Yeah. Um, Right here, because again, it's a garden. It's a garden. Yeah. Have much hey, it's a it's a good use of a garden room, though. Yeah. They went with um, yeah, something that is uh, possible in uh, with the capacity, but I would have uh, I would have carved them out properly with uh, different items. Um, yeah. But this is really capacity intense. I mean, I know what I'm talking about since. Uh, fifty percent of Phoenix Retribution um, so, has this. <laughs> exactly. Yep. <yeah>. What? <laughs> I heard that. I, 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 I didn't get I that. that. Your, yeah. your mic, your mic is cutting out. Yep. <laughs> sure. Right. Let's head to Defense Ballista. Yep. All right. Well, see, I just want to say I really like this room. Um, I was in here a little bit before you guys were. Um... Oh, I think this is their work in progress room. Unless <coughs> they finished it, so I think there's two teleporters oh, in here. Yeah. It looks almost finished. Yeah. Almost finished. Right. Let's uh, let's head to where they've got the um. Oh, what's the other one? I think it's Draco Lick. So I think we're near. Oh, is it? it? Yeah. The tower over there. Uh, where's and the it's still uh? Work in progress. It's still work in progress. Uh, no, I missed it. Go. Where's the tower? This oh, is great. Yeah, yeah, for Drake, I like. Love for Drake. <laughs> oh, but like, um, when I first came to the teleporter, my first um, uh, thought was, uh, I don't know if you guys know what it is. Uh, for those that know what uh, Fortress Soul is, the science fiction concept of uh, humanity making uh, the soul system into a fortress, kind of like uh, oh, no. 40k or got some concepts on 40k and stuff but i was like eh, the island is fortified i like the i like the draco look at the back that's in front of the zaraman thing higher up but like uh, from a distance that, that actually looks great yeah again i don't know if this is a reference oh, from elder scrolls or stuff like that yeah oh can you oh let's go let's have a little adventure it's a little hard to climb but there's no stairs in here well you can go down in it as well yeah Oh, I'm using my wall frame to get around, I'm not cheating. Oh, this is just more where there's like the black hole bit down here, yeah. Uh, they're still finishing off little bits as well, yeah. I don't know if they know, um, if you can see they've got work in progress bits still underneath here, so... I still think they're um, making this room, so yeah. Again, I don't want to be too harsh to see the, the final thing, because, you know, like, uh, that's probably something there for a reason. So yeah, oh, let me see if I can... Oh, I'm on top of the tower! I made it! The tower's really nice. I quite like the tower, yeah. Right, let's go to the, uh, to the console. Let's, let's get a better look at the, at the Dracos. Oh, that's cool. They got a little swirly darkness thing in here. Uh, Looks like it's casting a spell. Yeesh. That's pretty cool. I think that's where we have a teleport. Good example there, yeah. of. Uh, <clears throat> you don't need a, ma uh, 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 a mask necessarily if your focal point is good enough. Yep. Oh, cool. The terror has an underground part. Yep, I don't think they're done. There's, uh, 
Uh, oh, I just realised we here. where we came in the defence ballista is like a giant crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what a ballista is. Yeah. <laughs> well done, <laughs> Faith. You I'm learning. Now know what a ballista is. Yeah. I'm learning. <laughs> Wonder why the secondary weapon ballistica is called ballistica. <laughs> it makes so much sense now. <laughs> well, to be fair, Warframe's pattern of naming things is just quite literally. Uh, let's find something that sounds like something Spook. and just slightly, <laughs> slightly <laughs> amend it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of it's off like really obscure mythology as well. Yeah. I mean, some of their names are quite unique, um, but some are like basically Greek names. Like they, they, they definitely, one hundred percent. If if anyone is watching, I'd love to know if you use like Latin name generators or Greek name generators. Because Aphrodite, I can't find anything. I'm on Google right now. Nothing else is really called Aphrodite, so guaranteed that came up in a name generator. <laughs> yeah, they probably got. I think they that just well, have, yeah. they they just throw darts at the alphabet and uh, see what combinations come up. Yep. <laughs> Zylock. <laughs> yep, that, that sounds like a gum. <laughs> Rakta. Lightum. <laughs> yeah, let's go with this. Felox. Yep. Alright, y'all wanna go to the next one? Yep. Yeah, this Done. is my saw. It's a crunch. Duklam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Duk> <laughs> yeah. It's almost like they want to say a word in the Grenier accent for it to like have a maximum effect. Yeah. Scoom. Scoom. Different. Ringa ringa. It's gonna be Dragon Lord. Yeah. At the next one. The other ones are for the same map. Oh, I'm fast running to the tunnel lap to get there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look up the reference this time because I'm really curious if this hand is supposed to be this big. Is it Defense Tower or is that the other? Oh, yeah. That, that no, it's, it's Dragon Lord uh, Placiduzax. Placiduzax, that's right, yep. Yeah. I botched that on the on the tour that we did last time, yeah. Of Absolute botched, yeah. Oh, yeah, because um, Gizmo pointed out that the right hand was like massive compared to its left hand. Yeah, so as you can see here, that is crazy. And we wondered if, um, if it could like stretch and elongate itself like Flubber. Um, Whereas oh no, it's not as big. I don't know why this hand is so big. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Oh no, hold on, hold on. Have a, uh, no, 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 hold on. This is actually accurate, yeah. Not really. Have they given a reason? Yes. Um, At least according... Oh, yeah, this is one ability. So, the thing is, the, the claws that are that big... Um, are not physical. They are, um, this is like Ethereal. a red glow. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Cool. But the scale is correct. The scale is correct. I'm just looking at the skill right now as he, as he does it. It's like one of his attacks. So yeah. Um, really accurate. Oh, so his one head got eyes and the other doesn't. Unless they're hidden in that, uh, in that. Yeah, they're hidden. The eyes on the right um, side are hidden, by the way. I don't know if that's on design. But they're like a bit mm. obscured on the right head. Or like the left head perspective, yeah. Yeah, it kinda of, that's alright. Yeah. I really like this. This is from um Elden Ring, is that right? Yeah, Elden Ring. Uh, so I'm I'm just looking at the um at some in game screenshots of this and um as far as I can tell they are pretty accurate, yeah. Yep. Is the arena accurate, or is that just... Yeah, yeah, this is actually... The arena is floating in a fog, so there's no walls oh. or anything. Nice. Cool. I really oh, like yeah. the dragon sculpture. There's also a good use of fog as well to kind of, like, mute things together as well, yeah. Very good, very good. Yep. As I said, I would love to know, honestly, if they numbered it, where, where the order of them building in their dojo is. Yeah. I'd love to know what 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 they started with and how they progressed because because again the the naming alphabetical naming is just it's a smorgasbord if you don't know what you're getting from next room to next room but uh yeah and I really like this room yeah All right <laughs> let's move on to a dry dock see if mm. they've decorated there very uh Daviri kind of dry dock 
Drydox would have to decorate him. Yeah. Just gonna say that right away, I hate Drydox. Yeah. They're just such a weird room. When, no matter yeah. what you do, um, there's only a, a, <laughs> there's a, only a, a small chance that I will go, oh wow! <laughs> because, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a way too big room with way too little capacity to do something great in here. Yep. Um, the only thing that I think is cool is, on the, uh, is also here, it's the Xenomorph. Xenomorph Prime. It's, um, oh, up yeah, it's up there, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so, cool. yeah. what you could have done is basically just box the Xenomorph in, in, inside, uh, in, in this room, and forget about it. Leave the dry dock, because yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, you you place down some. Not not saying that it's bad, but it's it's the only thing you can do with this because everything uh, else is red zoning, or you don't have to have enough capacity to do something great in here. So, yeah, um, of all the rooms in my dojo, this will be the last one I'm decorating in. It's tough, yep. Yeah. This room is tough. I mean, even with double capacity, it's still tough to decorate, I think. Yeah, 400 is just not enough. It really isn't. I mean, I quite like the Xenomorph, though. I like the shape of it. The use of a Feligre to get, like, muscle shapes. Like, they're consistent. Again, overuse of a gold, but they're consistent. And uh, you can clearly tell what it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even little baby head coming out of a big head mouth, yeah. No, very cool. Yeah, dry docks are just tough. I mean... My one's just a uh, forest themed, but it's not really a special at all. It's just fair not to be empty. Mine basically. is yeah. barren. Barren. There's <laughs> nothing in there. Yep. Yep. It's just a tough room. Very tough room to decorate him. So, yeah. Right. On to the next one, my lady. Right. We are. Is it expressed going... xenomorph? Empress, not express. Empress. Sorry, Empress. Yes. My bad. Express a xenomorph. It should be holding a package. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, Does I, he deliver it with his Ooh, baby this mouth? Is cool. yep. I like the face. Turn around, oh, cool. I'm Ripley! Yep, oh yeah, ah! you've got the little uh, mech up there, yeah. Oh, that's cool! <laughs> Where mech? Hey, Vafari, if you're watching, wear mech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wear mech. <laughs> hey, uh, we got uh, Gizmo in the, in the chat. Hi, Gizmo. Hello, Gizmo. Gizmo. Hey, yeah. Gizmo, message uh, Vafari to ask him wear mech. Yep. <laughs> wear mech, yep. <laughs> But yeah, no, this, um, this, this, uh, again here, I just want to know what, the, where this would be on the teleporter number list, yeah, but I, I love this. I need to find the console so I can, uh, see what they made the mouth out of. I, I quite, oh, there it is. Right um, here. The mouth is, uh, it's interesting. Uh, it's the, in, hold on, is it, is it Toy Scanners? Yeah, it's Toy, toy Scanners. Yeah, Toy Scanners, yeah, that's great, yeah. Thing is, with a polychrome, that blends in really well. You wouldn't even know if it was a scanner, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there, a good, is there a little baby head in there as well? Or is it Alex's yeah, map? Sehr good, sehr good. Gizmo, sehr good. Make him suffer. Yep. We will get a mech out of him one day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We could be on our fifth contest and it's still wear mech. Yep. <laughs> Bro, the second he places down the first item for his mech, I'm gonna message him warehouse. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yes, let's do it. Oh, uh, yeah. Gizmo said I'm on it, lol. <laughs> so, what I like about this Xenomorph sculpt is that if you color bind items together, like, they blend in really well, and a polychrome takes that to the next level. So this is really, really well done, yeah. Um, very well done. I like the tail and the spines on the back, like, and the leg shape as well, yeah, this, this feels great, yeah. Um, Mm. I, I'm not too sure on the mask. How much cap have they got left? 1,032. So, oh my god. So so they're still Jeez. most of the room. Yep. So for me, like, I have no issues with the focal points. And I said this on the general tour we did for all the other dojos. Is that 
This dojo is guilty of one thing and one thing only is that the focal points I have no issues with, right? I love what they're doing with trying to build big gaming movie references, but they need to finish their masks because if you want to fully immerse your um, visitor into your dojo, I can still tell that this is a Kuva lab and, you know, like, I, when I look up at the ceiling and see the stalagmites um, coming off the ceiling, it'd be good to have... <coughs> a more cave-like structure because it just feels like that the effort towards the focal points is right they, they try really hard to get the focal points right but the second it comes to the mask it's like oh what whatever <laughs> yep. yeah we'll place that down as long as there's something right <laughs> but yeah um focal point like with this like there's they definitely i mean with the capacity in this like you have you have a chance to make this a proper cave to, to put this anamorph in yeah and it, this room would look a lot better. You don't have to change the focal point at all. Just expand on the mask and you'll be golden. I mean, you you can add more eggs as well. Like, you know, if you wanted more um, of the little mini eggs and stuff. And, uh, yeah. And maybe little xenomorphs running around as well, yeah. Anyway. No, absolutely love the focal point. Just bring mask as well. But, right. Um, just want to say that we've got to hurry one. up a little bit if we don't want to uh, want to have a two-hour video. Yeah, yep. <laughs> So we're down Next at is, Energy uh, Chambers, Excalibur but we Prime. did that, so Excalibur Prime, yeah. Woo! So yeah, so we, we saw this was one of the rooms I picked for the tour that we did. Um, so I like the blades. Blades is just one item, believe it or not, plus um, the Energy uh, Violet key no, stuff. No, it's two yeah. items. Oh, two items, oh, that's right, yeah. Er no, it's three items. It's the engines, it's the, uh, and two different types of filigree, and then you have the Entrati as the blades, the Entrati uh, oh, column yeah. things. And then you've got the, the uh, sentient light fixtures as, like, the spine as well. I just noticed that now, yeah. That goes back background, probably just to get the shape right. But no, um, like, to get the shape of this, like, the, the shape of the head, you know, as a sculpt for size in this room, they've been, like, kneecapped to, like, use these particular items just to get the shape right so really good job given the fact that you've only used two or three items absolutely um yeah no issues whatsoever like you know it's the first xbox clan that will have a excalibur prime yeah damn founders <laughs> won't share <laughs> won't share yeah but i really like this room yeah really really do yeah, because I was in here and for dojo tours, we were, we didn't linger too long in here. It's again just a garden room, so as long as they're doing interesting things with the garden. Again, the mask in here is, you know, could could have been expanded upon. It depends on how much cap they got left in here. So they have 122 cap, which means you could definitely get a better mask in this room, um, in a room this small. So yeah, definitely think about adding something darker around Excalibur to like complement him, personally to make him pop more because he blends in with. Uh, these uh, frame structures in the background, yeah. But either way. Right, let's move on to the next room. Yeah, they have many rooms. I said, but one thing I was surprised about this is that we... <laughs> yeah, um, it's just so many rooms. And this is a first-time dojo, yeah. Okay, I've gone to uh, the fairy room. Yeah, fairy hedge. And it's called Weeping Angel, brackets fairy hedge. We're in an open space room. I don't know if this is a reference to anything, like a game, but it doesn't look... I think this is also... was this also an, uh, um, an, an reference the um, uh, Weeping Angel, at least? Um, Maybe. Is this connected? Mm. No, it's not, right? It's not. It's not, not sure. Difficult. I've never played Elden Ring. I'm one of the few people. I know Gizmo hasn't either, yeah. Yep, our references are on point here today. <laughs> no, 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 I, I'm, I'm wrong with the fairy address. It's, it's probably not from Elden Ring. Um, yep. uh, regardless, the mask is pretty cool. I don't yep. understand the ceiling completely. But, um, I, I, I think this is point. still a work in progress. I mean, based on the other rooms, it's is probably there, still got a bunch of capacity. Is there another though. teleporter? Uh, to get on the, the top up there. I doubt it. Unless you can uh, see it if I we're underneath. Up there. Yeah. Uh, let me jump up a little bit. See if it pops up on my mini map. Mm, no. Right. I mean, I like the mask. Mask is great. I just, I just don't know the purpose of the room because I don't understand the reference. 
Right, let's move on to the next one. We hear, we, we're only halfway through their list. <laughs> yep. So we're going to Founding Fathers of Woe. Oh, this is just their observatory, so it just goes over their, um, their, their people that have founded the world over heaven. So yes, God, what, what a cursed game attack. <laughs> Moisture Man 29. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, yep. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on from this one, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so we're back to the, <laughs> the Ghost Leviathan, which, um, so on our tour, when Bobe's voice Ooh. wasn't audible, um, it w I was having a conversation with myself about this room, basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, cool. it's, it's not like Bobe had a two-minute monologue about this Leviathan. Either, uh, no, we're just standing still, yeah. yeah. Nothing, nada, <laughs> zilch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did I mean, Bobe say? He loves this room. He he loves some lot of Oh, he does. Yeah, we were both talking oh, about what it was. Yeah. He just he, he basically explained to us uh, non subnautica players uh, what the Gustafiathan is and what his uh, what what its purpose is. Yeah. Yeah. So I really like the um, the shape and scale of it. Love the room it's built in. Again, this room is guilty of not fully masking itself. Um, oh. They could have, <coughs> they've still got like half the room capacity. It's like eight hundred and thirty six. Oh, no, 840, so I was nearly right. Um, so, yeah, just improve the mask in this room will be... That's all you need, the focal point, perfect. I mean, they've even got the little seam off. So, basically, the Ghost Leviathan stops players leaving the map and will eat you, basically, if you're trying to leave the area. And they make a oh, haunting, wailing, banshee noise. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the underwater survival game, yeah, where yeah. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. you have to craft, okay. build, and survive yeah. underwater, and you've got massive Leviathans. And the Ghost one is, is probably the most iconic looking one um, from the game. So yeah. No, Seamoth is really good scale as well. Love the little Seamoth. It's so simple to build as well. It's so accurate. Honestly, it's actually really accurate um, with so few pieces used. So yeah. Absolutely great. Absolutely great work. Well done. Cool. Again, just need to get the mask better, but apart from that... Still some unfinished pieces, but... Turn on turn. <laughs> Never. Right, let's move on to Zen room. So... Glowing Ooh, just cool. tree, just uh, tree. Look, look, frog, and then we can move on. Where frog? Yeah, turn around, frog. All right, yeah. Oh, oh, he has a top hat. Yeah. Fro yes. Frog. Frog. <laughs> frog. I love, I love how it's just no, the tribute is almost like I'm not meant to see it. <laughs> 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 yeah. You can. It's, it's a very shy tributer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> it's just there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, move on. Yes. Golden, so golden, golden goose. goose. I like this build. Yes. I like this There's build also a another oh, build in this room, by the way, uh, that I quite like as well. Um, that's on the and other side of you the room. Yeah. Because you don't understand re references, this is the um, this is a sculpture of the monster Basil Goose from Monster Hunter World. And this is uh, referenced as the, or nicknamed as the B-52 Bomber in Monster Hunter World because uh, you see this, uh, the scales, they are pointing down on his bottom. They are like bombs that he can uh, uh, drop off. So he's like a carpet bomber. Actually. Ah, right, okay. So that, that's actually, he, he can like yeet the floor with a bunch of explosives, yeah. <laughs> yep. That's great, yeah. Yes. Hmm. All right, you want to come to the other side? No, no, yeah, come to the other side, yeah. Yep, come to the other side of the tree, and they've got a little, like, work-in-progress basilisk here, yeah. <coughs> Again, I don't know if this is anything from Monster Hunter World as well, but if you uh, pre... This, I, 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 think, I think this will be a Monster Hunter uh, yeah. reference. Um, I, I really, really like the wings of this. I'll preview it for the stream. Um, yeah. But the wings in here are great, because they've actually used the tarp, or, like, the, the canopy tarp. To a really good effect to create the wings um, of this. So they've actually placed the canopies where they want the like the fleshy part of the of the wings. It's such a good use. Yeah, really good use of this. Yeah, I can't wait to see this finished. I mean, this this is giving me ideas. If I said if you wanted to build something that has like a vampire wings using the canopy tops would be great. Yeah, really really good. Yeah, and again like. You can definitely see, like, the face of this is so good as well. It's so much better than some of their other dragons as well. Um, yeah, they're definitely progressing along with each of the builds that I'm seeing. Um, yeah. One day. And it really, really good. I mean, good. They're, they're guilty of using the same uh, items for the faces every time. Yeah. yeah. 
So oh, it's the, you have it's the creature claw. You, yeah. you have the creature claw, which you will, uh, which they use multiple times, or the, um, what's it, the the infested scale one. That's almost look. That, that, that basically everybody uses it for a dragon head. Do something like you did with the goose. This is better, guys. This is better. The goose is really good, really good. All right, um, <laughs> face. Wait, he's still there? Oh, sorry, yep. Oh my no. Bad. Hey, Timmy! Yep, my, uh, my oh, mic cut out. Yep. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> just a little bit, yeah. Hi, son. <laughs> you staying out of trouble? <laughs> yeah. Now we we. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. So it's problem. Ivory Garden um, or Ivory Garden Cathedral. I can't remember but what the teleporting name is. Like yeah. Ivory Wedding already. Cathedral. Yeah. I like the shape of it. Um. I just, uh, I mean, it's wow. actually not a bad little, uh, I mean, so, I mean, they've got I the like, Grimoire like the cherry book thing they can add here now, yeah. The cherry Blossoms are okay. I mean, they're just a massively overused decoration. I mean, I don't really see much to talk about this room. It's uh, a very nice can, shape. We can skip yeah. Lua Pond. Uh, we can go straight to the Minotaur. Nice. <clears throat> I think it's their low key room build, yeah. So it's just like a little minotaur on low key, yeah. God, I oh, hate this cool. room. DE removed this room from the list. I'd it be, has absolutely yeah. no purpose. It's awful. People people build it and then connect other rooms to it, and then they are forced to decorate in there because they can't delete it anymore. <laughs> yep. Please, please. This room is absolutely um, uh, wrong. In, in terms of decorating. I mean, if they, al if they did, allow me to turn off the statue so I could actually build something there instead. Because I just, I mean, I covered up my Loki statue. Yeah. The, the thing, is, even if you still have, the walls are way too close. The second story <coughs> makes no sense. Um, you have pillars left and right. Uh, don't. Just don't. <laughs> yeah. Just remove this room. I mean, Minotaur skull, nice. Um, just, I just don't like this room. It's just, I just, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't wait to cover mine up. I was guilty of the fact I built it before I could go back and delete it. So yeah. Oh, the but... thing is, the thing is, like, even though they did, did a good job uh, in uh, with covering the Loki statue, you can't fully appreciate it because the, the, your camera keeps buzzing out. Yeah. Or you have something in the way, or your warframe itself is in the way. Filming in this room is a nightmare because there's like 20,000 natural <laughs> objects. It's the yeah, worst, yeah. Tune, tune your dojo cam speed down to two and you might have might a do it, yeah. getting a good job. Right. Yeah. Anyway, we are going to Moon Presence. Wow. How many work in progress? They have more work in progress than I do. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on they there? have more work in progresses than uh, a Memento Mori. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is cool though. Mystery, look at this clan. They uh, they have multiple decorators and they all decorate. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool up. All right. Um, I mean, it's still work in progress, so I don't really know what they're going for. And again, if it's a reference to something, um, but I quite like the open rib cage that that they're trying to make from this year. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, good thing that uh, Gizmo and Timmy are both reference machines, like we are. <laughs> yep. Chat, please help. <laughs> yep. Do you know what this is? Well, Timmy doesn't know the references of his own dojo, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck him going into another dojo, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we won't intrude. It's still work in progress. Um, I, just, I, I mean, it's a good shape so far, yeah. Um, just trying to try to. Timmy said, yeah. "Wow." 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not World of Warcraft. Uh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure this is not World of Warcraft. No, definitely mm -hmm. not. Yeah, hundred percent. Yep. Right. Um, I think the next one is My Poor Endo, um, which I think is just their Iatan Sculpture Gallery, which is connected to their um, their main halls and stuff. So, I mean, Stop what? doing this. Yep. It's I, hey, pointless. Hey, uh, I like having rooms like this. It's cool. Yeah. No, I, I, no, I stand by what I said. Stop doing this. We all have seen Ayaton sculptures. We know how they look. Yeah. Um, yes, but you have to show them off. By the way, Timmy said, based on the Moon Presence room, he said, it kind of looks like the Nameless King from Dark Souls. So... No. Mm. No, disagree. Disagree. Yeah, yeah, but... The rest. No. I was thinking maybe it was something from Dark Souls, but I've the never thing, played the Dark thing Souls. is the thing is the nameless king like he's a he's buffed up like crazy. The, the, he's 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 a he's a tank, bro. And he has like a giant spear, and um, the moon presence had nothing. And also the nameless king is not connected to a moon. Oh, uh, oh I know what I know what it is. I know what it is. I googled it. I was annoyed. Um, it's from Bloodborne. It's an eldritch uh, god. Uh -huh. Yep, it's from Bloodborne. Yep. Um, uh, since you like hands so much. Yep, where we go? I'm up here on top of the doors. Oh, what, are we in the same room? Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, same room. On top of the doors? Uh, it's, it's just one hand placed. I mean, it's not a custom yeah, hand. It's on the other It's yeah. on the other side, too. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I do love hands, but just, uh, I mean, custom hands. I mean, these are cheat hands now, yeah. I mean, I make hands out of these hands, by the way. If you want to sculpt custom hands, use this as a reference point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Timmy, uh, uh, please not in public. Uh, we can we can do this in private. Timmy? In, in private, you Keep can show me your, your, your spear all day long. I, I'm, I'm done for it, but not, not on screen. He's a giant spear. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, even worse. <laughs> Crush you with my spear. Yeah. Oh Jesus. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, Next, I, I will gladly on. be. I will gladly be your shaft for the nope. shaft for your spear. Nope. I mean, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Cutting to technical difficulties. We're going to Nergagante versus Belkana. <laughs> okay. Um. Yep. <laughs> This is another Monster Hunter World of Friends. What's that? And, um, <laughs> who? <laughs> who? <laughs> Kendall and Murray, who? Yeah, who? <laughs> so, Vulcana's uh, really good. Yep. Very nice. Very well done. Um, Nergigante could use some love. Definitely. It, it's what one Nergigante? Is it for Ice One or the... Uh... The, the black one is Nergigante. Um, yeah. So Nergigante is uh, like the hedgehog of dragons. Okay, that's a sentence I never thought I'd hear, but anyway, yep. Yeah. <laughs> hedgehog of dragons. Oh, Jesus. He, he just has spikes everywhere. And the thing is, um, he, Nergigante is bulky as hell. And this one looks more like a... Yeah, like a like a almost starved to death version of uh, a Gigante. Yeah, he could use some uh, muscles. Yep, like the ice one. Ice one is good. Yeah, yeah, the the sculpting is good. Be, the Kana, the Kana Hunter, really let's nice. go. They, they actually they, they actually did very well uh, with the Kana. Yep, love love the helmet oh, again. It's for creature claw. Yeah, there. yep. Yeah, there was two. Metal was like, what's going on here? I still think it's being... There was of a Negiganti build in the... Um, in the uh, contest you judged uh, from one of the Chinese clans. Um, that was actually, that, that was actually crazy. Oh, well, I judged. Oh, yeah, but everything, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. everything I judged was crazy on PC. Like, it was the most insane contest ever. So I wouldn't have known. I mean, I just judged it on quality. Uh, if, if the PC people putting all of this ever going, oh, wow, you know, hopefully they really get the reference. If you're watching from the Spring 2023 contest and you're a PC clan, I understood none of your references. <laughs> I just went, wow, that looks really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Right, okay, we moved on to the next one. I think this is another JoJo reference. Um, when we're yeah, in Pillar Man. It is! Yes. I've seen it's this one. The, yeah. It's the Pillar Man from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh my god, if they, if they got more Huro, Huro uh, little things, but it's like the green, violet, uh, like, 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 like,
<laughs> yeah. Like the, the little fleshy 2D art. I'm all for it, yeah. I mean, it's cursed, but I'm all for it. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah. And we're in a garden room as well, yeah. I mean, they've definitely committed to the gardens. <laughs> yeah. Definitely committed to the gardens. I wonder how much cat's left of this room. Yeah, everybody commits to the gardens until they realize, oh, I can only have 128 rooms uh, in my four, dojo. 14 capacities, yeah. so yeah. So it's, it's a tough room, the rest of it, yeah. That's fine, yeah. No, really good build. Love the 2D up. Uh, next room we are going to is... Praise the sun. Praise the sun. Shut up about the sun. <laughs> sun god Leto. Yeah. Um, again here, like, uh, if anyone has any references, I mean, I mean, I don't know how early this is again, but it feels like it's one of their it's, earlier boats. It's, it's yeah. called Sundial. I mean, the shape of it's great. Um, I love Praise the sun. Sponge, is, I mean, yeah. Praise the sun is a Dark Souls reference. Oh, is it? Oh, it might be a throne then of, of some sort, yeah. Yep. God, those poor PC dojos now, in hindsight, they're putting in their all for these contests that they judged, and they're like, oh, yeah, like, um, you know, <laughs> we're going to make all these cool things from games, <laughs> and Vape only plays Warframe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I'm, I have to owe people an apology. <laughs> oh, Why did D pick me? <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> uh, right. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. It's a nice frame though. Like the phone. Uh, Prometheus engineer shit. I think we've been there already. Yep. Yeah. When we've got Soma. Soma. So this is this is a reference. I don't know to which Soma though. Uh, there's multiple. So. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> it's work in progress. Well, the problem is if I type in Soma onto Google, I'm gonna get like a hundred different references. So, who knows? Yep. 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 I don't really want to linger it. It's dumb. But right. <gasps> Yes. Go to the okay, next Okay, since uh, Faith is going to talk to for the next <laughs> 20 minutes on this build, I'm going to go to AFK. <laughs> yes! I mean, I did mark out quite heavily on the dojo tour uh, of where we did. Um, yeah, this first so, time. um. What is this from? Star Trek? It's how, the Enterprise, right? How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The Millennium Falcon was from Star Trek. I'm wrong. Um, yeah. This is the <laughs> Batmobile from um, uh, Star Wars Babylon 5? Star Wars okay. Babylon 5? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> this is from Mass Effect. This is, um. <laughs> this is really good, actually. It's one of the Reapers from uh, Mass Effect. It's a sovereign who was. One well, of the lawnmowers of Mass Effect, what? Oh my god. <laughs> uh. I'm done, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. This is a really cool build. <laughs> oh my god. They're not even done with it. Every time, I, I, like, to recap, I they keep adding to this room every time I'm in here. So the legs are different Bro, from the last gosh. time. Right, so let's um let's go back to Sovereign. Yep. Hey, yeah, I really, what's the static I really sound? like this. Uh, anything, anything Mass Effect, I, I really like. Mass Effect was a very good game. Oh. I mean, these aren't the Architects Anonymous uh, Dojo tours. If there's always one technical error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, do we introduce ourselves uh, again? No, we, we don't. No. I will just cut myself in, yeah. Seeing as you did yours in German, <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, my, my favorite room, once again, causes causes nothing but stuff, yeah. Um, my internet didn't cut. It was just, uh, just a weird, weird glitch, yeah. But anyway, um, so, yes, this is a... Uh, we're going to start this segment again, by the way, so nothing of what Mad said and the jokes he was will be included. <laughs> No, this is a sovereign from Mass Effect. Um, he did 
before we cut off, uh, he did say it was like Star Trek from Babylon 5. <laughs> yeah. Um, Enterprise no. uh, from Street Fighter, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Oh, yeah. fucking yeah. Yeah. You're people just cringing right now. Yeah. Oh, big time, yeah. But no, um, this room's only half done, by the way. Every time I keep coming in here, they keep adding and changing things. But the... Obviously, the main thing is Sovereign from Mass Effect. Um, I mean, it could be any Reaper, by the way, because all the Reapers look exactly the same, bar Harbinger. Um, no. Yeah, the, the, the back of the of it, the tail is the best bit of it. It's just such a great shape and stuff. Yeah, I'm jealous I didn't build this Reaper. Yep. <laughs> yep. I just has to build one that is better. <laughs> yes. There's even the underside as well with the little nodules at the back. Like, it's all very Reapery. Maybe they should add uh, the Narmer um, circle thing for the eye. Mm, it's too big. That's where they shoot it's the laser. too big. It's too big. Too big. Too big. You can't it's scale way it. Too big. Yeah, no. Oh. No. If anything, That'd they. Be really cool. I mean, when we did the main live stream, I said it would be great if one of the fingers was pointing up. You know, using one of the violet long beams, um, as it's like a. Uh, as its weapon, but... Yeah. But no, we've got a cool little selection of ships in here as well. You have a Turian ship, um, you have a little uh, human fighter, and then you've also got Asari ships as well um, on the other side. I actually did find out my references here, but uh, yeah, they're not all Turian ships. Um, most of them are, but some of them are from others, just to like, get a little flavour of everything, yeah. Um, I definitely think in this room they have the capacity to make another reaper big time uh, two mm. but what's better more than one reaper would be two <laughs> yeah and and again a great example that you don't need a room mask if a room works for you because if you're building a spaceship for chances are you're not gonna need a room mask and stuff yeah and also i i have a uh, realized why they've used this particular mask as uh, i've um the mask uh, what is it? Backdrop. Is that this reminds me of Mass Effect 2 when you're on the suicide mission and you're going to the the collector base as well, which goes through mm. this like red mm -hmm. red minefield as well, yeah. Um Mass Effect 2, what a game. So yeah. But yeah, no, I love this build. Really, really good. Um God, I want to see more Mass Effect stuff in Dojos. <laughs> yep. Really good. Yeah. But that's me done. <laughs> Good. Next yep. room. Only, only for two minutes. <laughs> right. Uh, time Guardian is the next one. We've got a handful of rooms. Time Guardian. Alright, I, I came in here. I thought there was going to be a Doctor Who reference. It's like a... I really I'm going to have... Like, oh. I, I, I got a hot take. Uh, we, we just had uh, technical difficulties so we can enter the Sovereign Reign twice. What, what do you uh, mean? Yep. The, the, the Reaper build. So just so we can enter twice. Yeah. <laughs> and we're back yeah, in yeah. The, We love in, this. In we love this so good. Yeah, but again, this feels like one of their earlier builds because it's also in one of their early rooms as well that's connected to their halls. So again here, like, I would love to see their progression <clears throat> with numbers. So yes. Anyway, um, back to Sovereign. I'm joking. Uh, we've got the Two Weeping more. Angel. Work in progress. I think this is will be one of the last ones because I think the Zenomorph Prime. No, this Prime. is the ceiling. This is the ceiling of this. Uh, oh, uh, is it? Room. Oh, the Weeping Angel room. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. I, I take it back, Matt. I take it I'm back. I'm pretty sure this was. Somebody told me that this is a uh, Elden Ring reference. Oh, yeah, kind of looks like it with the, the the hood over the head. Jesus, it's dark as well. <laughs> it looks like a little guardian angel. Yeah, holding a lantern. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Um, the only thing I'm not a fan of is the lantern. Um, obviously it's still work in progress. They're probably just getting the little ball ready for it. But uh, yeah, I mean. I mean, the, the, the silhouette of a Grim Reaper is great. I mean, I think it's too dark. I don't know about you, but unless it's <clears> meant to be like a shadow. Yeah. Oh, I like this. I like this, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yep. 
No, not too dark or anything. I think it's bit, if, if it's. I assume it's holding uh, some kind of lantern and. Yes. I don't see another arm. The arm's over its chest. <laughs> I hope they replace the floor. Yep. Well, what does. What would it be? Like, is it like a naturey mask? Like. Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't fit <laughs> at all. Yep. I mean, again, I'm on cap check duty to make sure how much they got. So they've got 587. Yeah, but it's 587, so they've got a good third of a room left to go and stuff. Yeah, and whatnot. So yeah, definitely can uh, yeah, improve yeah. them. But yeah. And that's it. That's all the rooms. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's all for rooms. The last one is in still in the. Uh, the, the it's the, it's the Xenomorph Prime dry room, dog. which is um, which is dry what dog. I think. The dry dock room, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to we'll, sum, we'll... It up, uh, sum it up, really good dojo uh, in general. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I really hope we see more stuff like the Baldur's Gate build, because that one is crazy impressive. Mm -hmm. um, really stands out um, um, in front of the others. Um, like, that build is fucking crazy. Yeah, I've I really just come like back there to get the last thing, yeah. Uh, yep. The defense no. ballistica build that one is great too. I, I mean they they are so good at these large scale uh, rooms without masking, right? Um, double down on that concept. Bigger is better. Yes, size does matter. <laughs> yes, especially when you're trying to make someone go into a room. And go, oh my god, what the hell have I am I looking at? Yeah. Um, yeah, and again, uh, this this was the first entry. Um, first entry, silver, solid take. Yeah, crazy take, yeah. Um, you know, I'm glad to have them in Shadow uh, Clan now. I, I kind of think I want to, like, say something general about the dojo, that at this point when I won the All-Star, I had way less than what these guys do. I think that they're a shoe-in to be a future All-Star winner on Xbox, without even debate as well. And they're building, yeah, yeah. like, for absolutely sure, lunatics sure. at the moment, so i love to see it. I, w I would love to know... Because um, the person who submitted their entry was Cuddly Metal, um, and amazing game attack, by the way. I just would like to know if it's you that's built all of it, or if there's a team of people, really. So, yeah, really, really intrigued by your guys' dojo. Um, I really enjoyed coming in here. Like, it's such a surprise to see a new dojo this, like, four out with this amount of builds. And, you know, the, I said, like, I think you win the All Star um, if you keep building, and, I mean, you have enough now to probably win it, ideally, but, I mean, you definitely have a good shot at winning it as well. It's nice to see a, a clan build some good quality builds first time. It, that's the, the shock for me, is that you're brand new. <laughs> or you've been building for ages and didn't know how to enter the Star Chart contest or just whatever, but, it, yeah, absolutely love this. Well, it was yeah. more like this this, this classic take uh, from the greatest have like, I, I only want to go when I'm ready, right? Yeah, like, <coughs> go all in, yeah. I mean... Yeah, just crazy. Yeah, I mean, strong debut on on, on, on uh, dojo contest, definitely. Big time, yeah. My dojo sucked when I <laughs> when I had my first. Uh, it still um, does, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, what well, are we friends? <laughs> I get no bit of it. It's just uh, Nora sucks and get over it. <laughs> but anyway, um, no, really love this tour. Um, we'll wrap it up here. I would like to say thank you to uh, Mad Davos and Full Metal for joining, and all of the people that popped up in chat as well. It was a pleasure speaking to you both and everyone in the chat. Um, this was World Over Heaven. There's a few days left where you can go check them out if you're on Xbox. And again, if you want to join our alliance, um, just message me on Discord or Xbox and uh, we'll get to talking. But yeah, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you very much, everyone. And I will see and speak to you soon. Right. Have a good one. Bye. Bye, bye, bye everyone. <laughs>